A nurse from Atlanta is volunteering at New York City hospitals. She says she's seen 10 to 12 people die a night with the bodies being placed in semi trucks new tonight. She shared her perspective with our Hope Ford. One of them passed at like 8.04 in the morning. My shift ends at 8 a.m. Heather Eisdorfer is one of thousands of healthcare workers volunteering in New York hospitals. She posted this video on Instagram after losing a patient she cared for. I was right there when his heart rhythm changed and I started chest compressions on him. <laughs> Since arriving in Brooklyn, she's worked 22 nights in a row. She talked to me Friday on one of her two off days before she heads back for another three weeks of work. Seeing 10 to 12 people pass a night by themselves is, is very disheartening. It's, it's awful. Heather is working at a hospital where more than 90% of patients have tested positive for the virus. She says emissions have gone down, but the death rate is still the same. These pictures she sent me show semi-trucks parked behind the hospital. It's where the hospital places deceased patients after morgues fill up. Each one can hold 100 bodies. Almost reminds me of that Holocaust picture with bunkers. Because of what she's witnessing, she says she doesn't understand or agree with Governor Kemp's order to reopen her home state. I think it's a very selfish decision and we're not as bad, but we still have so many cases in Georgia that we can't play around with this. Heather hopes Georgians choose for themselves and keep non-essential businesses closed just a little longer. Don't rip the band-aid off so soon. Like, let it heal. Let us heal. Hope for joining us tonight safely from home. Now, Hope, we know these medical supplies and PPEs have just really been hard to come by. What did Heather tell you about her experience with PPEs there in New York? So originally there, they were getting one mask per day to wear. And now she says that they're, they'll have to re-wear the same mask for the next week. And she says one of the concerns she has if a lot of businesses and states start opening up and ordering masks so they can operate their businesses, that'll take a lot of supplies that are desperately needed by healthcare workers away.